Receiving incoming transmission. Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Glazer News Network. Reports from the front lines are in. The inhabitants of the cliff system have found war on their doorstep. Protoss strike teams have clashed with Zerg swarms, resulting in an even trade of territory, while Terran armies struck a blow to the swarms from the other side, all too aware of what happens when the Zerg is left unchecked. Just four days ago, the battle for Tethondria came to an end. The Protoss made a valiant last stand days prior in a desperate attempt to keep their final foothold during this combative bidding for resources. However, Terran forces were able to eliminate all but one of the remaining Protoss strongholds and disband any significant groups of Protoss within their borders. Things were looking up for the Terrans, as they were simultaneously able to fend off vicious swarms of Zerg and reclaim some previously lost territory. Despite their best efforts, the Protoss were forced to evacuate, as they did not have the means necessary to hold off the endless swarms of Zerg while getting shelled from the other side by the Terran artillery. Terran forces continued to fight for survival, but each passing day, the Zerg swarm consumed more. Heavy Zerg attacks continually broke through the Terran lines, reducing the Terran territory to only a handful of settlements. Civilian evacuations became a top priority. The final Terran forces were masked for one last stand, and surprisingly managed to not only hold, but push back the ever-pressing Zerg swarms, which bought just enough valuable time to evacuate non-military personnel and equipment. In the end, every defending line broke, and the swarm overran to Thondria in glorious victory, claiming each stretch of land and every bit of valuable resources as their own. Our frontline reporter, Glazerbeam, had this to say on the final outcome. After a long and hard-fought battle, it seems that the war has continued to go in Zerg's favor. The Protoss and Terran have done their best to fight back, but unless something changes soon, it looks like Zerg will continue to dominate the sector. Congratulations to the Zerg race on a well-fought victory, and a special shout-out to Jantin with 21 total games played, making him a true veteran of the battle for Tethondria. But the war has only just begun. Season 4 has started, so make sure to do your part by competing in the viewer show matches every weekday on the Glazer stream. The balance has shifted and a new system is on the front line. The cliff system, far from the Dominion's trade routes, has been settled for decades by many Terran colonists who weren't interested in the Confederacy's or the Dominion's politics. A few Protoss settlements have also made their home here, away from the struggles faced by their core system brethren. Even an estranged small broodmother has nested on one of the many planets in the system, undisturbed by their neighbors for many years. But I fear that will all soon change. With the defeat of Amon and the end of a war, alliance is shattered, and all three races now turn their attention towards the resource-rich and mostly untouched planets in the cliff system. Once again, war has come. So join the war for the sector and lead your race to victory. Get more information as well as the most up-to-date reports on how the war is progressing by joining the Discord. And be sure to tune in for updates here on GNN. I am Andy Man signing out. Stay salty, my friends.